we're back at Mondello Park for something a little bit different. The Fiesta ZTEC Championship is the biggest one-make championship in Ireland. In fact, it's the biggest racing championship in Ireland. 47 cars registered for the Siltex Championship this year. Today, we've got a six-hour endurance race. Three or four drivers in each car, and they've got a race for six hours. They start at midday, they race right into the dark from four o'clock onwards, and they finish at six o'clock. It's the equivalent of a whole season, or even two seasons of racing for the cars. Strategy comes into it, tyre choice, driver choice. When do you put your driver in? Do you put the quickest guy in for qualifying? Loads of decisions to be made, loads of tactics. So we're going to go down and talk to some of the drivers and have a look at some of these cars. Chris Smiley, great to have you here. You've had a fantastic year, haven't you? Yeah, we've had a good season, yeah. You know, we've obviously won the, the TCR UK Championship this year, and uh, yeah, we worked hard for it all year. It wasn't handed to us, so yeah, we've had a good season, and this is this is always the last race of the year, so yeah, it's great fun. Noel, come on, what capacity are you in here this weekend? Come on, are you a spectator or are you involved spectator in the team? Spectator, are you? And enjoying it, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you not get the urge when you're spectating if you usually race? No, no, not at my age. No, definitely not. So what capacity are you here in? Uh, team manager, first time ever, so. And who have you got? Um, two Formula Shane drivers, two novices, they're all learning basically, so it's a bit of fun, a bit of crack. Good man to teach them anyway. <laughs> well, give out to them maybe. <laughs> <laughs> the Mondello Mafia team, Phil Lawless, what's happening? Who's quick? Well, I'm the quickest at the moment, but I think that's down to the weather, the track conditions. They got drier as the session went on. It's probably more important in this team to be quick than any other team because that's bragging rights in the canteen on Monday, isn't it? Without a doubt, yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm starting on Paul. I'm just already nervous about this because I never hear the end of it if I, if I get into a crash at turn one. I saw a qualifying. You were down there. I was expecting you to be right at the top. This car just hasn't got it, has it not? No, I think she's missing a few ponies in the engine, so we'll try and drag it out. But you know yourself, this race goes on for ages, so yeah. if we can keep it on the road, I reckon we can do all right. Just stay out of trouble and let the faster guys go on. You're going very well in the UK this year. You had a win in the, at 240 Fiestas. Yeah, it's not too bad. It got a couple of races in there with budget and all that, but it was great to get a win in Knock Hill. We really loved it. Didn't have a great weekend in Brands last weekend, but uh, great to back out this weekend, and we'll see how last run of the year, see how it goes. Brilliant. Best of luck with him. Michael, what's the plan? You've won this race before. Well, the plan is just to try and be as uh, go as quick as we can and be consistent. Uh, Rob is out first because he was the fastest in qualifying today, and then uh, I follow him, and then Peter's next. So we have a good team. We have got a consistent pace. So it'll be down to the last, I'd say, the last half hour as it always is. Yeah. You're normally driving the safety car here. What are you doing this again? In real car. <laughs> first time you've been racing in a while, is it? This time last year, yeah. Same again every year. Good event, this, isn't it? Good event, good crack, yeah. yeah. Yeah, good laughing. Get the cobwebs off. <laughs> Derek Hogan, you're normally in the Pink Panther in the in the in Legends. What are you doing here? I've been lumbered in. I have to jump in as a driver. I look forward to a bit of crack. Different you were you were going well, and when it was greasy in the middle of qualifying, I saw you up there at one stage, did I? Yeah, yeah, I was doing well. Or then I got. I'm not used to the We're not used to. Front, front wheel drive, yeah, 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 and I'm going in, and the arse is going out. But after look, if we, that's where you came from with the Fiat, isn't it? Ah, yeah, the Fiat, yeah, true. That's been a long time, so. uh, fifteen years now, or something like that. Yeah. 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 Uh, it'll come back. Larry, what's the crack? Are you back now? Are you coming back racing again, or what's the story? We'll see what the story is. You know, do we, money is the problem. You know, sponsorship. If we can get it, we'll probably look into it. Send yourself there. You're not telly. But, but uh, thanks very much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, no, we'll see what the story is. Uh, I have no plans for next year at the minute. I'm looking to maybe take a break. But if all goes well, we'll see. How's the car going? Top notch. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna be up there today. Are you? Yeah, we're gonna be up there. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, st who's starting the race? Oh, I'm, in, I'm, I'm starting first, yeah. I'm starting first, yeah. Really, you're the team manager, yeah? I'm the team manager. Zoo, zookeeper, mad scientist. Yeah, we have the tactics. We, we were there, thereabouts last year. We made a slight error last year. We're hoping to do the same thing then. We'll be up there in the top five this year, hopefully. Big talk from these boys. We'll be keeping an eye on them. Best of luck, boys. Who's giving advice here and who's taking the advice? I think it's a bit of both. Yeah, he is the, he's the experience and, uh, yeah, I have the speed, so... Uh, we're starting at the back, we got a penalty there, but uh, I'm definitely going to get the elbow there. Last time I interviewed someone this time, they missed the grid slot, so I won't keep you for too long, Keith. What's the plan? Uh, give it a go for a win, I suppose, Leo. You know, we're, we're at the sharp end, got P5 in the tricky conditions, a little bit off the pace in the full draw yesterday, but uh, solid team, solid crew at Blackchurch here with us, maintaining the car, not, probably not better men in the pits for us, so uh, it's up to the drivers to produce now, I suppose. The whole Rapco thing looks great, your garage looks brilliant in the car and your panel on the wall and everything, fair play. Just trying to make a bit of money to do more racing, <laughs> put on an exhibition. Good stuff, I'm sure you're going to entertain us, have a great race. An all Murray front row here, any team orders? Uh, nah, look, we, we obviously won't uh, fight too much, we'll see how it goes. I think it's, if we get to the last stint, that's when the big fight will happen, I guess. Now, Formula Ford 1600 a couple of weeks ago, and back into a Fiesta z -Tech. Now, you just managed to pip uh, the brother for pole, yeah? Yeah, just barely. Um, the front row, for, or the first row we had in qualifying, he was he pipped me by about a tenth, um, and then we pitted, put on new tyres, went back out, and um, I towed behind him to get the lap. And then when he was towing me, 
uh, I made a mistake at Dunlop, so kind of put him off a bit. Andy, you're the man supplying the fuel for the whole grid here. Miles plus, how are you? Good, are you? All set? Yeah, good to go. You're probably a little bit, from your lofty standards, you're probably a little bit disappointed to be back a bit in the grid. You were pole here the last race meeting, weren't you? Yeah, a little bit, but look, it was very tricky conditions this morning, and uh, we just wanted to make sure the car was in one piece for the start of the race, you know? So, uh, great pit team with me as well, so looking for a good result today. Andy in the Miles Plus car, all the cars of course running Miles Plus fuel, the scrutineers have methods of testing the fuel so you can't use race fuel, they can uh, take samples from all the cars so it's great to have them on board this year as well as the Nace Card Hotel helping us uh, televise. These cars normally race in this Siltec Safety Championship, it's the biggest uh, racing car championship in the country, 47 drivers registered this year for that championship and 17 of them were first time racers, so incredibly popular classes you can see looking up and down the grid, it's about 70 drivers going to be racing here today in these cars and they do take a lot of abuse, they don't tend to give famous last words, they don't tend to give mechanical problems. So we're almost ready to go now. So there's the results from qualifying. The Murray Motorsport car number 32 of Niall Murray, Eddie Peterson and Ian Fishburne will start from pole position, but alongside them, the 31 Murray Motorsport car of Owen Murray, Graham McDonnell and Shane Murphy. The big news though, is the car that qualified third, the Mika Lacken and Talent car has failed post qualifying scrutiny and will start right at the back, along with four other cars who also failed. So five cars put right to the back, but it's all Murray's at the front row of the grid. So lights are green and away we go. It's the two Murray Motorsport cars leading the pack now down into Max's corner for the first time. We're on board with Rob Barrable in the 22 Team Barrable car, the car his dad campaigned all year. He's down the inside of Dawson. He's down the inside of Keith Rabbit and side by side for turn two, almost up to third place, but it's not over yet. Keith Rabbit goes through in the Rapco car. Great addition to the championship this year. Keith Rabbit got a couple of wins as soon as he entered the championship a little bit late and he's always great to watch. He's up to third place now. And here comes the Dawson car right down the outside of Barrables, just up alongside, trying to go around the outside. Rob won't have any of that and he's back down the inside now for the second apex of turn three. Down to second gear, hard on the power and right out, not leaving much room on the outside. Here's James Byrne from the carnage team. Oh, the bonnet's gone up. That's happened a lot of times in saloon car racing at Mondello. So easy not to check the bonnet pins and the windscreen smashed and he'll have to get back. That's a shame. James Byrne, an absolute star and the rookie champion in this class this year he's been really really quick and towards the end of the season having a go at some of the big names he'll be doing well to get this car back to the pits now on board now with Keith Rabbit very low camera position it's great to look at the roof of his car there but you can just about see some other competitors that's the two Murray cars ahead as we go under the BMW bridge and down towards Max's corner for the first time down into second gear gets the car turned in little bit of contact with the back bumper of Murray's car. He's got Barable on the right-hand side. Remember, there he is. You can just see the blue car into Campion corner now. Turn two, flat out in third gear in these little Z-Tech Fiestas. And right out to the exit curb. Keith Rabbit, good start, and he's up to third place. Caleb Shanley, now another newcomer going very well. Down the inside, big lunge with the back end. Let's go, that can happen in Z-Tech. Gets on the power, almost holds it, but into first gear and away. So good recovery there and still almost makes the move stick somehow. So Shanley going nicely, but the Minahan car down the outside and retains that place now as they go down the main straight and towards turn one again. So up into third gear, still trying to get a run. Coming towards the braking zone again. Looks like he's going to have another go here. Indeed he is. He's very late on the brakes. Down to second gear. The other car stays out of the way. Great move. And uh, Shanley takes the place. He's away up the road now, chasing the pack. This is Owen Murray in second place and flashing his lights, it looks like at his brother Niall there. I'm not sure what he's doing, it looks like he's flashing the lights, but uh, he's right behind him, not having to go down the inside. Goes to turn in here, but there's somebody there. It's standing, it's Alex standing all the way from the back of the grid. Alex standing, incredible stuff. He was put to the back of the grid for a technical irregularity this morning, but he's charged up and just down the inside of Owen Murray while Owen was, uh, looked like he was flashing the lights at his brother there. Oh, the carnage team have fixed that car, great work. James Byrne's gonna rejoin the fray, that is fantastic. They've managed to get it taped up, the scrutineers have said it's okay. The bonnet is back down, the pins are in and we're away, rejoining the race, so great work from the carnage team there. And the rookie champion rejoins the fray. On board again with Rob Barrable. It looks like he's putting a lap on some of the other competitors. Rob, massively experienced, has won loads of rallies. He's been a Leinster Trophy winner and somebody getting way out of shape in the wet conditions there. Back end of the car, getting away and they hang on to it, but Rob's up the inside into the final corner, Southside Motor Factors. And it looks like they've gone off on the outside. Rob just shaking his head there in disapproval as he uh, makes his way around Southside and out onto the main straight. A big flurry of activity in the pit lane here behind me. The safety car's gone out, somebody's gone off. So a lot of the teams call the cars in straight away. You lose less time when the pack are going slowly, of course, while you get your pit stop done. And a lot of drivers being switched around. So that could shake up the order early on in the race here. Oh, we spoke to you on the front row of the grid there. That was exciting stuff. Were you expecting the Denning car to come through that quick? Uh, I was, Leo, to be honest. Uh, yesterday he, uh, 
he had a couple of tents and everybody. Good fun though, was it? Uh, yeah, no, it was great crack. Uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, Ourself, Rob, Noel, uh, really close to three of us. So it was about uh, kind of staying out of trouble, keep the pace as quick as we possibly could. Back with the Mondello Mafia team. Phil, how did that go for you? A bit of pace there, did you? Yeah, it was going very well, yeah. It was going well. Yeah? Yeah. You're relaxed now after your stint? Thank God for that. That's hard work. 40 <laughs> minutes. Who's out there now? Uh, Ken Elliott. Yeah. Elliot. And the car's going all right? The car's going well, yeah. yeah. You, got in, you think you got inside the top ten? You're currently still in the top ten, are you? Sixth or seventh, I think we are, yeah. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah we're happy now. Why do you look so happy? <laughs> I'm happy about a car, Leo. <laughs> Great stuff. Ian, how did your stint go? Very good, thanks, Leo. Uh, enjoyable. Yeah, It's been a while since I was out. I forgot how tired it is. It's <laughs> quarters of an hour and a half. People think because we work here, all we do is drive around the circuit, but that's not the case, is it? No, 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 not often the case. <laughs> But it is today. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of a fun outing for all the staff, isn't it? I see the JR and everyone helping with the car. Yeah, it's a bit of crack. A chance for us to let off a bit of steam and have a bit of fun, so it's good. Alex, what's happening? Give us an update there. We need to get better at the stops, that's what's happening. Yeah, you've got great pace on track, though. Yeah, but, um, you know, you gain a couple of tens out in the track every lap and you lose 30 in the pit stops like that, so, yeah, we need to get better at the pit stops. Okay, where do you, have you any idea where, where Murray's are getting the time in the pit stops? They said they just practice and practice yeah, and practice. practice, practice, practice. Yeah, we didn't do enough practice, obviously. We've had a couple of problems, though. The, the fuel fuel kind got lodged into the tank, so, yeah. Who's out in the car now? Um, Harry. Harry McGovern, yeah. Check, yeah, yeah. I know Harry will be quick, yeah. for sure. Um, but yeah, we lost a bit of time in the last pit stop and we managed to get it back, so I'm confident we can do the same again. Great stuff. Keith, what's happening? Give us an old update there. Uh, I think we're in a good position. We haven't got the pace, but uh, we're trying to win it on reliability and uh, strategy. So the minute we have a full tank of fuel, we have a driver about 15 minutes into a stint. We're out of sync of the front boys, um, but we're sitting in P5 on the lead lap. So, How important is the pace or how far off the ultimate pace are you? Uh, well, probably, it depends on who you're judging against, but normal championship cars were probably five, six tenths a lap off. Okay, great stuff. Andy, it's going nicely there, yeah, you were in touch. Yeah. Yeah. Had a good stint at the beginning, yeah, it was very tight at the beginning, a uh, bit of banging, you know, so, uh, yeah, 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 so you need to keep your headlights intact, you know, otherwise you're in deep trouble, so, uh, yeah, but kept the pace up with the group, you know, and built a bit of a gap as well. So where are you now? Oh, I think we're 10th or something like Inside that. Inside the top 10 is crucial, you need to stay in that yeah, to get a yeah, result. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay, And it's all down to the pit stops. You're yeah, having so. fun, I can see it in your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> great stuff, Andy. Thank you. Ken, what happened there? The headmaster had to come and see you, did he? Yeah, I'm pretty dead, yes. I'm a very bold boy, Leo. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of giving up racing. I'm so upset. I doubt that very much. There seems to be a lot of bold boys and a lot of stuff. A lot of people are falling foul of penalties and well, speed the, limits. The problem is when you're going up that street into that sun, I saw the black flag, I saw, but there was a bunch of three cars together, so how was I to know it was me? I didn't see any number. Went round, second time, I thought, oh, there's not a black flag there. Maybe it is something. Saw our board and came in, but... Um, anyway, here we are. You charmed your way out of it, I'd say, didn't I you? I did, yeah. He said, he, he, I'm not going to say any more than that. <laughs> Great stuff. Liam, how are you getting on? You having fun? How's the car going on? The car's right? going grand. It's, it's going fine. Uh, the drivers are getting a bit slow, and I pulled the calf muscle, so... And Ken is out for two hours, so, oh, you know... <laughs> right, OK. And what about you, Clive? That's been great crack. Yeah. <laughs> a bit slow compared to the Lotus you'd normally drive in. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good fun. I'll tell you, the, uh, they're a great wee car. Yeah. Love driving it. Yeah, they take lots of abuse. But yeah. they, the boys are saying you have to grab them by the scruff and hustle them to get the last bit of time out of them. Yeah, yeah. If the tyres hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, you boys are too smooth, maybe. Great stuff. Well, enjoy your race. by the clock there we're jumping forward two hours gone we've one third race distance covered and look at the battle for the lead we've got a grandstand view from Owen Murray's car as Denning tries everything to get by Niall Murray a lot of talent in these three cars up front Niall Murray has won loads of stuff he's a former double Formula Ford Festival winner he's won in lots of different cars very quick as indeed his own but Alex Denning very much the man of the moment he's the uh, Irish Young Racing Driver of the Year He's uh, done really well in the Mini. He's the rookie champion in the Mini Cup in the UK and he's going racing a GT4. Aston Martin in 2023 and he's having a go at the Murrays here all the way from the back, remember. He's got by Owen Murray down the inside into turn one, Max's corner, an unusual move. And uh, he's already having a go at Niall Murray. We're on board again with Keith Rabbit. A little bit of rain coming down now, the wipers on. Watch the steering wheel, there you go, just to let off a little bit of lock. Great car control has Keith Rabbit and uh, he needs it in these wet conditions. He's got a good run through turn two, that's Campion Corner. He gets alongside the Miles Plus car. That's the Andy Kavanagh car there and he's going to have a go around the outside of turn three. That's a typical Keith Rabbit manoeuvre. I wonder, can he carry it off? It looks like he's got it done as he gets it turned in for the second apex. That's impressive stuff, especially in these slippy conditions. So Keith Rabbit very much on a charge as ever. 
Caleb Shanley now, we're back on board with him. He's been going very well all year in this self-prepared car. He's part of the Team Carnage racing team. They've got a lot of these Fiestas. And he's side by side. He's doing a little bit of elbowing here. And somebody giving him no room on the way down to Max's corner. I think that's possibly the Miles Plus car again. But certainly, they weren't being too generous with the tarmac on the way into turn one. Indeed, it is. It's the uh, Miles Plus car just in front of him. And he'll want to get by that car. But certainly, it wasn't going to happen down into turn one. Looks like that's the nice car hotel car just ahead of this pair battling away. So battles going on all the way down the field now in the 6R Fiesta Z-Tech Endurance Race. On board now with Michael Barable from the Barable Dynasty, the North Dublin uh, family. He's been racing many, many years at Mandela Park. And that car in front is uh, Liam Ruth and the boys. That's the last of the summer wine. They're perhaps not spring chickens, these guys, but they get so much fun out of this race every year. They race with the HRCA Historics and uh, all race some very quick MGs and Lotuses and different cars like that. But they have bought a Fiesta and have done this race for the last few years. They raise loads of money for charity and uh, have done so again this year. So they're just uh, tucking in behind Michael Barable on the main straight. So number 22, as he's always run, a former national rally champion and many, many Formula Ford wins and saloon car wins. Owen Murray now still on the tail of Denning and Denning having a look down the inside, back to the outside. Niall Murray back at the front again. And Denning has a last minute lunge into the outside corner and gets the job done down into second gear. Niall Murray just uh, thought he had him covered, I think. And Denning with a big, big lunge, very late on the brakes down the inside and uh, leads now as they head under the BMW bridge. And uh, Owen Murray once again getting that grandstand view. So getting a little bit darker now, of course it's uh, November, so it gets dark early enough, but they've got to get the headlights on, you've got to have lights over your numbers. A lot of them tape up the back window so they don't get blinded by the main beams of other cars. A lot of different tactics involved as Keith Rabbit makes up another place, his favourite place around the outside again at turn three, and that's not an easy manoeuvre at Mandela Park, and especially not a front wheel drive car, because they can be quite taily, but Keith Rabbit loves getting this little uh, Rapco Fiesta out of shape. He's up in the third gear again, his next victim is uh, lining up in front of him. Rob Barrable back at the wheel and that's the last of the summer wine boys again he gets a great run up out of turn three they see him coming they move out of the way and uh, great stuff Rob doesn't uh, get held up at all third gear side by side little wave there uh, on the outside of doubt they'll see that it's a little bit dark but who knows as they come down into the essence now Bridgestone the long long left hander second gear in these cars and then change gear as you change direction third gear flat out through the second bit of the S's Back on board again with Owen Murray, and he's got a car in front of him. That's Lar Whelan, another uh, relative newcomer who's been going really well. Haven't seen him out so much this year, but he's back out for the six hour and going nicely, holding off Owen Murray now through the second bit of the S's and all the way up the hill. Let's see if Murray can do him on the brakes into the south side corner. He can't. Whelan good and late in the brakes. They're well matched now as they go through the final corner. A little bit of a wobble from the Whelan car, and that allows Murray to get a slight run from the apex onwards. They grab third gear, and he just eases by. They're still side by side as they go under the BMW bridge, which we can't see now because it's dark and down towards turn one to start yet another lap. Family affair is ever with the Barables. Rob, what's going on here? It's not mine now, so that's Pete's new baby. Uh, yeah, so um, we have a bit of a lead there, but to be fair, Owen Murray is setting the pace. He's taken between a second and a half and two seconds a lap out of us with 54 seconds left. 54 seconds of the lap time. We work with that till it come around the last lap possibly neck and neck, side by side, or very close. It's that close, yeah? Yeah, well, that's how we work it out, so it's just hard to, you know, you're standing on the wall and each lap of changes, so. His feet seem to be in a bit of good traffic now, so. Uh, we just have to wait. Can you make him aware of that? No. We're just giving him the lap time for yeah. P2, um, but I suppose he'd be giving out to be saying, they can only do what I can do, and traffic and stuff you like that. You guys haven't really had ultimate, ultimate pace, which you've had incredible strategy yeah, today. Yeah, to be fair, um, the sharp end of the pace, I think, has been really been with Alex Denning's car, to be fair. He's been driving exceptional all day and since yesterday, but our strategy's been good, Leo, to be fair. Um, we don't have to do an extra pit stop on a tyre change. We were kind of banking on a bit more rain, which would have obviously helped the life of the tyre. So, um, yeah, so look, with the strategy has been key. Um, pace hasn't been, as you say, ultimately there, but we're happy enough. It's been consistent. Like, yeah. you know, it's been, it's been, it's been strongly consistent. Heading for a grandstand finish? Well, I don't know yet. No, fingers and toes crossed. So if, if I won't slow down a bit now, we'd be all happy. <laughs> That's not going to happen. No, Best of luck, Rob. On board again with Owen Murray, who's on a late race charge, running second at the moment, but fastest lap and absolutely flying. He's closing in on the Nace Court Hotel car. 
That's the uh, Whelan Leonard Holstein car. Oh, straight into the back quarter panel just to let him know he's there. They hang on to it, but he's gone by and uh, Owen Murray up another bit. Little wave, and that's all right then as he goes through Campion Corner, grabbing third gear. Owen Murray on a mission, trying to close down the Barables, who are now leading this race and going very quickly. Owen Murray in the complete darkness. Now Peter Barable, he's the leader in number 22. They've recruited Paul O'Brien from POB Racing and he's doing uh, pit strategy for the Barables. Very strong team, great strategy. They've been strong all the way and they've won this race before, the two sons and father team of uh, Peter, Rob and Michael Barable. That's the Sam Kyo car, missing digits and they're getting alongside. That's 45 side by side on the way up the hill. Should be able to get the job done on the brakes. But now they come back at him on the brakes as they grab second gear. You can see the cars bouncing at the front there. Slightly soft, these Z-Tech Fiestas. They don't run full race shocks. Very inexpensive to build and to run. Run a standard forward spec shock and a control spring, and that's about it. So down the main straight. Still looking to the left, so they're not completely gone just yet. Peter Barber wondering how they're hanging on to him so well, but now moves out to the outside. So 10 minutes to go in this race, just over 10 minutes to go. We've had to put the winter coats on, it's really, really cold. It's getting exciting. Michael Barable told us this morning he was going to come down to the last half hour. Uh, they were prophetic words because Barables are leading, but Murray's are in second place. They put Owen Murray in, their quickest driver. He's doing fastest lap, he's doing one tens. He's catching Peter Barable by about 0.7 of a second a lap. And uh, I think he's about 30 or 40 seconds behind. So we could be on for a grandstand finish here at the Fiesta 6 hour race. I had a good middle stint, a great middle stint. Yeah, kind of steady times. Low, low, low 12s or high 11s. Um, then it rained for my for my third stint, I think. So that was a bit uh, dicey, all right, because I had no experience around here in the wet. So I was definitely cautious for five or six laps. But um, brilliant experience. We were up to kind of fifth or sixth oh, overall. Man, yeah. But uh, lost a wheel, our uh, drive shaft nut. Billy uh, down into turn four, had no brakes, and um, got him in, got one on, and, and he's out there in the last stint now. Back on board with Owen Murray again as he heads up the south side corner. And that once again is the Lara Whelan car. Indeed it is. And the same thing just gets a side by side second gear. You can see the rev counter there. Rev to about 7,000 RPM, then grab third gear Whelan. Wheel to wheel with him on the left. Slightly slower, not much in it as they come down the main straight. And pitch start. That gives you an idea what the drivers have to face as they head down towards. There are floodlights at certain parts of the track, but there aren't any there. As they head down towards Max's corner and through Campion turn two, a little bit more lighting for them there. But the Barables have done enough. This is it. Last corner, last lap of the six hour Fiesta Z Tech race. We're on board of Peter Barable. The checkered flag is being prepared. He's already flashing the lights as he grabs third gear on the way down. Great stuff from Team Barable, from POB Racing and Paul O'Brien. There'll be big celebrations after this one. They've done it to perfection. He's absolutely delighted. Checkered flag. Team Barable take the win at the six hour Fiesta Z Tech race. And Peter Barable absolutely delighted. Thumbs up there as he heads down towards turn one. On board with Owen Murray now for his final lap. We just got the news that Murray has broken the ZTEC lap record at Mondello Park in his pursuit of Barables. Incredible stuff in the darkness in the dying stages of this race. But it's P2 for Owen Murray and Murray Motorsport. So there's the official results. Team Barrable take the win for the second time at the six-hour Fiesta Endurance race. Second place and a new lap record for Murray Motorsport car number 31. Third place, Mika Lacken and Talent. Then fourth place, Team Rapco and Blackchurch. Fifth place is the Murray Motorsport number 32 car. And sixth place is ShedsDirectIreland.com with the Nace Court Hotel up to seventh and the Mondello Mafia Mondello staff team climbing to eighth from Mellow Yellow and Archer Motorsports. So that concludes the coverage of the six-hour Fiesta Endurance race. Great action all the way through. Great teamwork in the pit lane and above all, great fun for all the teams and spectators. It's been a really enjoyable event. We'd like to thank the Nace Court Hotel for helping us with the coverage and Miles Plus, of course, for also getting involved.